Hey there, let's talk about the straw that broke the camel's back. What does this expression from the, well, actually 1677, it was the feather that broke the horse's back and Charles Dickens changed it in the late 1800s to the camel that broke the camel, the straw that broke the camel's back, the straw that broke the camel's back, the feather that broke the horse's back. What this means is that a horse can only carry so much, a camel can only carry so much, a person can only handle so much, so many problems, so much trouble, so many obstacles, so many challenges before they'll break. Now, what does this have to do with our businesses? Well, there's a lot that goes into running a business, starting a business, growing a business, supersizing a business, and all of those things have the ability to break us, to shut us down things that come up and it seems like as soon as we make a choice or a decision to do something to go after our dream to create what it is that we want the universe and the world tests us to find out it's kind of like it's testing us to find out how serious we are how committed we are to actually making that thing happen making that dream happen creating that thing in the world that we we tell ourselves we want to create and so obstacles and challenge and and resource shortages and laws and rules and regulations and and processes and procedures and people challenges, all kinds of things come up and show up in our, our life and in our experiences to see how we're gonna handle them. Are we gonna quit at the first sign of trouble? Are we just gonna figure it out? Most entrepreneurs have the stick to enough spirit to figure things out, to, to overcome obstacles. We know that no matter what, Things change all the time. Things are always going to come up and we're going to have to find ways to solve the problems. Business owners are by nature problem solvers. Business owners, entrepreneurs are inherently here to solve problems and make the world a better place. So it's important to know personally and as a business, what are the obstacles? What are the challenges that could actually break your business and shut you down once and for all? Um, law changes, regulatory changes, um, environmental changes, natural disasters. If you don't have a contingency plan, natural disasters could actually destroy your business depending on the nature and the type of your business. That's why it's important to always have a, what am I gonna do what it, you know, if a, if a natural disaster happens? What am I gonna do if a tornado comes and blows away my facility? What am I gonna do if a flood comes and floods my basement of my, my business or floods my restaurant. What am I going to do? We always want to have a backup plan and a contingency plan. They don't have to be, you know, super detailed, but you have to have an, a, a plan B in mind for different type of things that are probably likely to happen. The more likely something is to happen, the more prepared you want to be, the more you want to have a plan or an idea in place of what you're going to do. For example, I was in manufacturing and one of my suppliers of some major ingredients that we carried actually passed away. And we of course had a contingency plan. We had backup suppliers that we could get those products and services from, but had we not had that, it had that person passing away and their business stopping cold turkey could have actually negatively impacted my business. It could have made it impossible for us to produce and manufacture for a period of time while we found backup suppliers. But since we always had backup suppliers for all of our key ingredients, we continued to produce without missing a beat. But that's the kind of thing you want to be prepared for in your business. Are you dependent on someone else for your livelihood, for your business? If you are uh, running a an affiliate marketing business, for example, or if you're dependent on Facebook advertising or Facebook, that is a third party provider of a service that they could shut you down today. And would you be out of business or do you have a plan in place? So, hey, if Facebook shut down this week, then I'm going to use um, LinkedIn or I'm going to advertise on Google, whatever it is. Do you have a backup for what it is for all of the main things that you do in your business, for the key functions and the key things that you need to do in your business? Do you have a backup for that? Because that way, somebody else doesn't have the ability to be that last straw, to be that final straw that breaks your business or your personal back. Uh, the same is true in our with our, our health, not only our personal health, but with our business's health. Are we financially healthy? Are we paying attention to those things? Are we 
you know, again, with um, supply and demand, are we healthy in terms of being able to source the raw materials and the resources that we need to run our business, to make it run the way we want it to? Or is there something that could shut us down, stop us in our tracks, could be the final blow that takes us out once and for all? Is there a competitor that is moving in that we need to be aware of? Are there things in our environment that we need to be attuned to so that we don't get blindsided and shut down or, or something that would cause us to be shut down? Are there operational processes and procedures that could put us at risk? I think of quality and customer service and especially products and services that involve the health and safety of human beings. Is there a process or a procedure that if we don't follow it, has the ability to, to subject us to litigation, to make us liable or co could cause harm to other people that would make us liable? Are there things like that within our systems that we need to take a look at? So today, it's all about, is there one thing or are there a few things that if they were to actually happen simultaneous that could really be detrimental to our business? And if they are, let's just be aware of them and have a plan in place so that we can prevent them from happening and to protect ourselves in all areas of our, our life, not just in our business area, but in our all areas of our business health, because just like our humanness in our bodies, we need to take care of all the different areas and aspects of our life we need to do the same thing with the life of our businesses so make sure that you're doing that make sure you're paying attention to the environment paying attention to your business's financial and physical health making sure you're paying attention to outside threats that could cause challenges that could shut you down that could fill your little red wagon with so many problems and obstacles that you just want to give up and quit because you don't think that you can overcome them. by the way absolutely positively anything imaginable is overcomable. There isn't a challenge that comes up that you can't find a way around. Does it sometimes mean you have to stop doing what it is that you're doing in a certain business and start over again in a different business? Absolutely, but that's just a little obstacle, right? So it's up to you to define what obstacles you can and cannot overcome. It's up to you to find the help and the resources and the tools and the people and the objectives that you need to help you do what it is that you're here to do. And like I said, the universe is going to test you. It's going to see how serious you are and how committed you are to creating what it is that you want to create in this world. And know that that will happen and that you can overcome any challenges. Sick, well, make it an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.